The iconic New Balance 990 running line is now over four decades old, and it's really cool to see how far they've come over the decades. In this video, I'm going to be comparing all six versions of the iconic New Balance 990 line and highlighting all their key differences, including the midsole technology and the sizing of each version. In 1982, New Balance released the 990. This was one of the first shoes to ever retail for three figures. Back then, $100 for a shoe was considered expensive, so the 990 became some sort of a status symbol among sneaker collectors and running enthusiasts. The 990, or version 1 as we call it now, utilized the motion control device, or MCD for short. The motion control device utilized a stiff polyurethane heel cradle with a soft foam EVA core to give the user a good combination of both stability and comfort. And if that sounds really familiar to NCAP, that's because it is. Back in 1982, NCAP wasn't called NCAP yet, but the MCD was the first ever version of NCAP, and it's still utilized in a multitude of New Balance lifestyle and performance models today. For sizing, the New Balance 990 V1, in my opinion, fits true to size. For my three-factor comfort rating, I give the 990 V1 a 6 out of 10 for cushioning or softness, a 6 out of 10 for stability and firmness, and a 5 out of 10 for midsole shape and support. For a shoe that's over four decades old, I think the 990 V1 is still a pretty comfortable lifestyle model today. Unfortunately, because the midsole is relatively flat and not that supportive, the 990 V1 is not as comfortable as its newer versions. In 1998, New Balance introduced the first ever improvement to the iconic 990 shoe in the 990 V2. The V2 introduced new buck panels in the toe box, as well as 3M reflective panels in the toe box and on the actual N logo itself. It also introduced a more padded tongue area as well as a new midsole comfort technology in Absorb. New Balance Absorb is a responsive midsole that absorbs impact through a combination of cushioning and compression resistance. This combination allows the midsole to be comfortable enough without being too overly soft or squishy on feet. In my opinion, the New Balance 990 V2 fits true to size. For my three-factor comfort rating, I give the V2 a 6 out of 10 for cushioning and softness, a 5 out of 10 for stability and firmness, and a 7 out of 10 for midsole shape and stability. In my opinion, the V2 isn't as stable and firm as the V1, it's just ever so slightly more soft on feet, but the V2 vastly improves in midsole shape and support. The midsole shape, as you can probably tell, is nowhere near as flat as the V1. It's more supportive for the feet and has a better shape. The V2 is an excellent shoe on feet for lifestyle wear and it was a great new addition to the 990 line. In 2012, New Balance released the next 990 version in the version 3. The V3 brought an even more supportive midsole, a better outsole traction, as well as more breathable mesh, as well as more padding in the tongue and the ankle area. In contrast to the V2, the V3 utilized end cap in the midsole. For sizing, the New Balance 990 V3 in my opinion has a bigger toe box area, so I suggest going down half a size. For my three-factor comfort rating, I give the V3 a 6 out of 10 for cushioning and softness, a 6 out of 10 for stability and firmness, and an 8 out of 10 for midsole shape and support. The V3 is very clearly both a performance running shoe that still looks great for lifestyle wear. The V3 has an excellent ratio of softness and firmness, and it has an excellent supportive midsole shape. In 2016, New Balance improved on the already great V3 with the version the V4 kept the V3's great improvements and only really changed in small details in the overall look of the shoe. The V4 also utilized end cap in the midsole just like how the V3 did. Like the V3, the V4 also has a bigger toe box area in my opinion, so I recommend going down half a size. For my three-factor comfort rating, I give the V4 a 6 out of 10 for cushioning and softness, a 6 out of 10 for stability and firmness, and an 8 out of 10 for midsole shape and support. In my opinion, both the V3 and V4 feel the same on feet, and the only real differences between the two models are the actual looks of the shoes, so both of them are very excellent performance running shoes that look dope on feet for lifestyle wear and are both very comfortable and give the user a great ratio of stability and cushioning with a very supportive midsole. In 2019, New Balance released yet another iterative improvement to the 990 line in the V5, which brought an ortholite comfort 
insole, as well as plastic panels around the ankle area for added ankle support and stability. The V5 still utilized the signature end cap midsole technology in the midsole, which everyone loved from the iconic 990 line. Just like the V3 and V4, the V5 also, in my opinion, has a bigger toe box area, so I recommend going down half a size. For my three factor comfort rating, I give the V5 a 7 out of 10 for cushioning and softness, a 6 out of 10 for stability and firmness, and an 8 out of 10 for midsole shape and support. The V5 fits and feels just like the V3 and V4 before it, but in my opinion, because of that ortholite insole, it has ever so slightly more cushioning and softness on your feet. In my opinion, the V5 is still one of the most comfortable shoes you can bless your feet with. Uh, it has an excellent combination of cushioning and stability, as well as a very supportive midsole shape, and it's great for both running and lifestyle wear. And finally, rumored to release at the end of 2022, we have the latest 990 V6. The 990 V6 brings a multitude of significant changes from the V5, most notably in the overall look. The 990 V6 utilizes both fuel cell and ANCAP in the midsole for comfort. Just like the previous three versions, the 990 V6 in my opinion has a bigger toe box area, so I recommend going down half a size. For my three factor comfort rating, I give the V6 an 8 out of 10 for cushioning and softness, a 6 out of 10 for stability and firmness, and a 9 out of 10 for midsole shape and support. With the addition of fuel cell, the V6 is noticeably more softer on feet, but it still has a good amount of firmness to back it up without it feeling too overly soft or squishy on feet, nor does it bottom out, and in my opinion, the midsole shape is the best out of all six versions of the 990 line and is the most supportive and best shape for your feet. The combination of end cap and fuel cell gives the V6 a, a propulsion-like feeling that helps push the runner forward whenever they take a step. Because end cap is more firm in the back area of the shoe, your forefoot hits the ground first before the back of the shoe, so it kind of propels you forward, which is excellent for running. In my opinion, the V6 is more of a side grade to the V5 in terms of comfort rather than an upgrade. Technically, the addition of fuel cell should be an upgrade in terms of comfort. But in my opinion, I feel like there will be a lot of 990 V5 fans that won't like the feel of the 990 V6 and I also feel like people who don't really like the feel of the V5 will actually really like the V6. The overall comfort and feel of the V5 and V6 are like comparing apples to oranges. They both feel different on feet and people will definitely have their preferences over just end cap with a great supportive midsole and fuel cell and end cap with a supportive midsole. In my opinion, both the V5 and the V6 are the most comfortable 990 shoes and it's just a matter of preference of softness and stability on which uh, shoe is right for you. I love all six versions of the 990 line, but if I were to pick a favorite for looks and aesthetics and a favorite for comfort, I like the 990 V2 in terms of overall looks and aesthetics. I think it really encapsulates a lot of what New Balance's style is, and I love the retro runner style of the V2. I also like how it still has a supportive midsole, and while it's not the most comfortable shoe from the 990 line, it's still very comfortable for lifestyle wear, and the V2 has brought a multitude of great GRs and dope collabs. My favorite for comfort is the V6. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with what New Balance achieved with the end cap fuel cell combination in the V6. I think the feeling on your feet is great. I personally really like the added cushioning of the fuel cell in the V6 and I love how it still has a good amount of firmness and stability to back up the soft fuel cell foam. So what are your guys' favorite 990 version? Uh, which 990 version is your favorite for looks and aesthetics and which 990 version is your favorite in terms of comfort? I definitely like to know in the comments. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. Thank you to all my Patreon backers. Check out the Intelligent site for more New Balance content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.